Well then, welcome to a special episode of uh, the JT12's Questions Answered. This week I'm going to do a special episode that's going to help many people out there who are wondering about their gear ratios on the Nitro RC vehicles. So let us start, basically let us start off here. What are gear ratios? Now, very, very simply, if you can see this, a gear ratio is the ratio between your spur gear, which is this gear right here, which is at the gear right here, it's the ratio between the amount of teeth that are on your spur gear and the amount of teeth that are on your bell gear, which is this one. So that is what a gear ratio is. Uh, different RC vehicles will always have different gear ratios. Um, every RC car will have a different one depending on the type of vehicle it is. So let us go on. So basically, let me read this to you. The reason why I'm doing it in this kind of format, it is a PowerPoint, is so that you can pause the video and then go back to it. Whereas if I'm just talking, then you'll have to listen to me rambling on. So basically, the less teeth on the spur gear, or the more teeth on the, the bell gear, or the clutch bell, gives you more top speed with slightly reduced acceleration. So in other words, in our language, that means that acceleration is going to be a bit slower, it's going to take longer to get fast, but once it gets up there, it's going to be faster than if you have uh, more teeth on the spur gear or uh, less teeth on the clutch bell or the bell gear will give you more acceleration and torque uh, in, in other words a faster acceleration but less top speed so this would mean that uh, very suitable especially for racing etc you can accelerate very fast however uh, it's going to be a little bit slower, which is uh, suitable for the rough ground, uh, in other words, off-road, uh, a remote control, trucks or buggies. So, uh, yeah, it says they're big hills or smaller tracks with lots of corners. So that is better for, you know, off-road RC uh, vehicles. So if you have an on-road car, then you're more likely to have either less teeth on the spur gear or more teeth on the clutch bell. If you have an off-road uh, truck, buggy or truggy, then you're either going to have uh, more teeth on the spur gear or less or uh, fewer teeth on the clutch bell. Uh, what I've just said, um, if you have off-road trucks, buggies or truggies, then you should be having either more spur gear teeth, for example 44 teeth, or less teeth on the clutch bell, and for example 12 teeth. For on-road drifting rally cars, you should have either less teeth on the spur gear, for example 35, or more teeth on the bell gear, for example 16. So, like I say, that depending on which type of vehicle you have, you should think very carefully about your, your uh, gear ratio because a uh, gear ratio is very important so you can ensure uh, very good acceleration or top speed depending on your vehicle setup and uh, driving style. Balance is the key. So if you want, you need to get a good balance between acceleration and top speed. You need to find a good uh, gear ratio which will suit your driving style and uh, the kind of things that you're going to be doing with your RC vehicle. So you actually need to be uh, probably experimenting if possible with different gear ratios and uh, trying them out. It's important that you get a suitable gear ratio for your type of vehicle so that you can be sure to have good top speed and acceleration when racing. So once again it is uh, very important that you uh, sort out your gear ratios properly 
and you can order different bell gears, different spur gears for your RC vehicle uh, very, very easily. So you can actually uh, think maybe, oh, I think I'll have a faster car, for example. So then uh, that's what you can do. You can then uh, adjust your gear ratio by uh, perhaps uh, more teeth on the bell gear so you'll get faster acceleration. So then, uh, yeah, so you can make your car faster that way. So please check out the following websites. Allow me to just blank the screen and the websites are up there now. Please check SRI remote toys .co .uk. There you can find different spur gears and bell gears. Also check nitrotech.co.uk and also willspinmodels.co.uk. Then three sites you can find some very uh, different gear ratio kits. In other words, some bell gears which have adjustable teeth on, for example. Very good for experimentation without having to spend loads of money on different bell gears. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very, very soon. Your way.